You're listening to the Remote Millionaires Podcast, the show for aspiring and established entrepreneurs who want to create and scale six-figure success online without being chained to a job, location, or computer. I'm your host, Tom Gaddis. Let's dive in. Hey, aloha, Tom Gaddis here, and welcome to another episode of the Remote Millionaires Podcast. Now, last week, we had a uh, a chat and I talked about, you know, what niche and what service is best to start with if you're trying to build a remote marketing digital agency. So if you haven't listened to that episode, you should, because these two episodes kind of tie together. Because, well, look, I'll just give you a spoiler alert. So if you want to, if you don't want any spoilers, go back and listen to it now. All right. Okay. Here's the spoiler. There is no best niche or service in, uh, you know, in the years that we've been helping people build, build their agency in the years that we've been running our agency successfully, uh, we've offered lots of different services to lots of different types of clients and we've had success with them. So there is no one magic niche. There's no one magic service. And this episode today kind of ties into that because we're going to talk about to specialize or not to specialize? That's the question, right? Specialization, should you do it? So what what is special, specialization? Well, uh, a common way you may have heard it said is there's riches in the niches, right? People say you should niche down, you should offer a very specific service to a very specific type of clientele. Um, but really what specialization is, is when you focus on a specific industry or service as it pertains to uh, a digital marketing agency. So for example, uh, there may be agencies out there that all they do is help dentists get more patients. They don't work with any other types of clients. They only work with dentists. Or there are some agencies out there that just specialize in SEO. They don't do anything else. All they do is search engine optimization, helping people get better rankings. And some people do both. They only do SEO for dentists, right? And uh, the common advice you'll hear is that specialization, (laughs) if I can say it, is the way to go. That's really where the money is, right? And um, I don't know that I necessarily, I don't agree with that. And I'm going to tell you why uh, in this podcast. Now, the thought process behind specialization is that if you know, a dentist wants to work with somebody that works with dentists, right? Like if you can show that you've had success with other dentists, they're more likely to trust you. Like most business owners think their business is different. So if you come in and you say, Hey, I, this is what I specialize in is the problem you have for your specific business type, you get better traction. And there is truth to that. That does help. Where I disagree, disagree with the specialization advice is uh, it's just kind of this blanket advice that they give to anyone who's looking to start a digital remote marketing agency. And I don't think that's good advice, especially when you're just trying to get traction or get your business off the ground. You know, uh, example like that the coaches and the quote gurus will use out there. Uh, I hear the Tiger Woods example all the time as an argument for specialization, right? Tiger Woods, his dad started him when he's super young. He played golf all the way through, became one of the best golfers in the world because he specialized early, they'll tell you. That's why he was one of the best golfers in the world because he started young, you know? Um, but there's a great book by David Epstein called Range. And in that book, uh, David makes the argument that there are way more people who are at the top of their field that did not specialize when they're young. That in fact, people like Tiger Woods and people who start young and stick with something all the way to the end are the exception. They're not the rule. Most people that are really great at something started out as generalists. And the name of his book is called Range, Why Generalists Triumph in a Specialized World. And I highly recommend you check it out. It's one of the the, the best uh, books I've read in a while. And it really opened my eyes to this idea that like, yeah, when we're trying to learn a new skill, when we're trying to do something new, we shouldn't be trying to special specialize. That's something that comes later, right? Right now, if you're trying to get your business off the ground or you're trying to get traction, you should be trying a lot of different things, right? Like working with different types of clients, uh, 
offering different types of services to see what you're the most comfortable with and what resonates with the type of people you work with. Now, that is not to say that you should just be trying all this stuff at one time. And I've talked about this before on the podcast. We, when we started our agency, we started with one service. I think I just did an episode where I talked about the power of one, right? You pick one service and uh, I would pick one type of business and I would give it a real shot. And what is a real shot? A real shot is like you make a genuine effort to make it work. You don't just reach out to one or two businesses and then decide the service in this niche isn't working. Like you really try to make it work. But once you have that one business and that one service going, then try a different one, right? Like experiment with some different things, offering some different services to see what is going to work, right? So look, this type of approach, I think will help you in the long run, right? Because you're trying to learn a new skill, new services. You're trying to build a business. When you when you do something like this, uh, it will help you get comfortable. It'll help build your confidence. You'll level up your skill sets. Then you move into specialization, right? One of my favorite uh, images I have on my computer and I look at it every day is I have this drawing and it's like a straight line. And that's how most people think of success. Success is a straight line. But then next to it, there's this like squiggly line all over the place. And it's like how success really is. That has been my experience. Now, when you have success, you go back to teach it to someone, you leave out all the squiggly line parts. And that's why it appears to be a straight line. But most of the time, it's not. So look, go easy on yourself. Give yourself plenty of time to achieve your goals. You know, forget the idea that you're going to have a million dollar business in 30 days more than likely it's not going to happen unless you're just exceptional. So give yourself plenty of time. Try a few different things. Give them a real effort before moving on to the next thing. Grow out, see what you're comfortable with, build up your skill set. That will help you. Then when you decide to specialize, you can just absolutely crush it right out of the gate. All right, look, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Remote Millionaires Podcast. Uh, you can find all the episodes of the Remote Millionaires podcast at remotemillionaires.com forward slash podcast. Even the, the one last week that I was referencing earlier is there as well. If you enjoyed this episode, please go to wherever you listen to this podcast, leave me a review. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can, uh, you know, uh, you can reach me at tom at offline Uh You can go to our Facebook group, find us remote marketing agencies, find us on Facebook. It's a great group. You should join that. And uh, I'll see you next week on another episode of the Remote Millionaires Podcast. Hey, if what you've heard today on the Remote Millionaires Podcast resonates with you and you want to continue the conversation, then I want to personally invite you to head over to remotemillionaires.com and schedule your free Remote Millionaires business development call. We will analyze your business and show you exactly how to accelerate your results and build a wildly successful business you can run from anywhere. Until next time, Tom Gaddis, signing off.